This is a demonstration of the load tamer cargo net for pickup trucks, trailers, and alike. Um, the load tamer cargo net system has a few differences I want to explain before we get started. There's two or three different versions. This here is a sewn rope border. This is the military version that we've been selling for 19 years. That's a sewn rope border. And this net here has been used 19 years in the military, Army, Marines, Navy, Coast Guard, Air Force, and foreign militaries. It's been tested, it's been approved, it's certified. There's just a lot going on with this net. It's been used all over the world and it's very, very stout, heavy duty. This is a heat cut version of the same net. Notice that's a sewn rope and that's a heat cut. Now this net would be more of a homeowner type grade. Uh, somebody who's going to use it occasionally. If you're in business and you're going to use it every day in business, my suggestion is always go with the, the, the heavy duty military version. This is the commercial grade. This is more of the light, lighter duty use. But they both do the same thing and they both have the same functions. This is the same netting in a four inch square. Notice this is a two and a half inch square. That's the size of the square and this is a four inch square and there is a lot of difference between them. This will save you money in nylon and it will still do the same thing, it's just not as effective. And this is also a two and a half inch so there's no difference between these other than the sewn rope border. Now. To, to get into the vehicles themselves, we did this on a sheet so you could see the difference of the black because black on black doesn't quite work. But here's what we want to talk about. In vehicles, there are tie down points built in. The nets come, your choice, carabiner, which is always the choice I, I prefer because they're really nice, they don't rust or anything. That's what you attach to. If you want to use a safety snap hook, this is your other option. It does the same thing. No problem. That attaches to the cinch rope. The cinch rope pulls out from the net using a rope lock. This, is, this comes with the net and what you do is you open this lever up by lifting up ever so slightly and put it to 3 o'clock position. It has a little tab on the back side which goes into these slots when you're closing it. And when you close it, it finds the, the, the tension of the, on the rope, and when you pull on it, now the rope won't move. When you open it, the rope moves. So the idea is to open the rope lock up and let the, the, the rope flow freely. And what you do is you put these clips onto here and then install and I will show you the process but I'm just for demonstration attaching and the same with the carabiner it works the same way it goes on this rope and it can go anywhere you want it to any of the in other words when you open this rope lock up you're available to pull rope out anywhere in the net you need to pull rope out and we'll spread it out here in a minute and show you how that works. Every net comes with an attention tag that this is where you put all your clips and hardware and that's the cinch rope. That's what comes through this rope lock. Um, every net comes with a flyer and it may be a different flyer, that's the one we're using presently, and an instruction sheet and as you can see you can pull the rope out anywhere you want to and there's the rope lock and it explains it all and then it shows pictures of nets in use on vehicles. So now we're going to slide over to a pickup truck. We're going to show you some of the differences in pickup trucks. The truck you're looking at right now with the white sheet on it is an avalanche and that's just to show you the difference. Now we're going to come over to a pickup truck and what we're going to show you here is some vehicles have uh, tie downs on the top rail this is one example of them and there's a hole underneath this and that hole is made for items like this. We don't 
sell these at this point, but you can pick them up at most stores. And there's a, what's called a hide hook That's hidden, and that would be this rail. This red thing would be this rail. And then when you push up, it snaps into place. And now you attach your hooks to this. I'm going to grab a hook. I didn't have one with me. And that's what you would attach to. Now, most trucks, especially uh, American-made trucks, have hooks built in. Now these sit low on some trucks, they sit high on others. This one just happens to loop out and it's nicely placed. Some of them are buried behind bed liners and they're really, really hard to get to. When they're hard to get to, you'd want to take a, a safety snap hook, which we will supply. You attach this to that and you leave it there. And then when you want to attach the net, you attach the net with your other safety snap hook or a carabiner to that one because these are so hard to access in the hidden ones that you can't get to. Now, one thing I wanted to say is you may not want to leave a hook on there, but you're better off because every time you need to access that hook, that, that tie down, it's going to be a pain. So you want to do it where you just leave this there and it's always accessible for whatever you're doing. Now, a lot of cargo nets in the marketplace come with open hooks and open hooks are really easy to use but there's a problem with those when a load shifts for any reason the net can relax and the the s hook or the open hook come on, comes off of the tie down now you have no protection whatsoever and we don't want to sell anything that's going to come off. We want something that's always going to close uh, uh, with a gate on it of some kind that closes behind itself. And that's why we use these. When the net arrives, it'll come in a uh, black uh, nylon drawstring bag. And this is what it'll look like. This is one of them. And what you do is you just pull this little, um, I'm not sure what to call it, but this little guy here, pull it out and then just open the bag up and the net, voila, there it is. Now I've chosen the military grade because it's what we, what we sell, I sell a lot of. And what you want to do is place it so the rope lock is out in the back of the truck and you want to get it where it's this, this side up, the handle side up, and you'll notice the ropes come straight out from there and there's the edge of the net. So now what you want to do is kind of fling the net into the truck and then open it up all the way and start attaching. Now I told, I talked to you about this previously. If the hooks are hidden in the truck, you're going to want to put this on first and then leave it there. Now these aren't hidden ones, but you'll, you'll know what I'm talking about if you have one of those trucks. They're very hard to get to, especially with a bed liner. Now the idea is to open the, the rope lock up and take the Velcro, which is attached to the net and the rope, and take it off the rope. And there you, there's all your height right there. That's all your height adjustability up and down with the net. I'm going to drop that on the ground just to get it out of the way. Now, the rope lock's open. You pull the cinch rope out. There you go. You attach it let's say in this case the carabiner and that's your choice whether you get a carabiner or all safety snap hooks but either way you're going to get a couple safety snap hooks then you go to the front of the truck grabbing the net and bringing it along with you find the other corner and there it is and there's the cinch rope take the rope take the clips which I placed in there before I did this and attach and in this case, I'm going to use that again. Now, you don't have to use them like I'm doing, but I'm just showing you that's the way you would do it if they were hidden. Now, I'm going to walk around to the other side of the truck and do the front first again. Now, I placed the hooks here, the safety snap hooks, so they're easier to get to for filming purposes. And you always want to attach to the cinch rope. Now in this case, because this truck has the exposed hooks, 
I'm just going to use the carabiner and put it on the cinch rope and attach it. Then I'm going to come to the back. And this is a one time install because usually you will leave it on the truck. So here we go. Look once again. Attach to the cinch rope. There's the corner. Attach again. And I'll take these out of the equation for this truck because you don't really need them. So now, to tighten it up, you just pull the rope. You pull it as hard as you can, and then you get one side tight and you hold it, and then you pull the other side, and you get that side tight. Then you bring it in and you lock it, and you just lift up ever so slightly and you'll feel the tension start to build. There's five positions. In this case, I'm in the second position, it's as tight as it needs to be. That will not come undone. Now the net is in place, I've got all the rope, and I'm going to just put it under the Velcro. And that's just a way to stow the height adjustability. And what I do with these is I just roll the end a little bit so it's easy to find next time. And then just go around the rope and attach. And you'll find out what this is for in the next segment. That is the, 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 the net in place. Now that's in place with the bottom located tie downs. If you went to the top tie downs, which would be up here if you had them, this net would be straight across and it would encapsulate the box so you could just open the tailgate and throw your stuff in here. This truck doesn't have it, so we're not showing you that. Now to use this net, you would lift this rope lock up and in this case, I'm just going to pull straight up without undoing the rope, throw boxes under there, which I don't have with me right now, and then I would just lock it back up again. And then I would close the tailgate and I would be done. And in the next segment, you'll see boxes, you'll see boxes in here and you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, imagine you're bringing uh, empty boxes across town to your other warehouse because they've run out and they're just flat boxes. What you do is you just open the tailgate and put, put the boxes on the tailgate, lift the net up, already installed, just lift it up, straight up, shove the boxes under, pull the net around the edge of the boxes, and you notice how they just conform right to the, the net. And one of the tricks I've learned over the years is if you want to, you don't have to. Just stick those two little um, ropes coming out of the rope lock right in that crease. And then just close the tailgate. What you're going to see here is that net doesn't go anywhere. Those boxes are not going to blow out. And you're good to go. Now that is compressed all the way that it'll go. But you could have this many boxes under there for, doesn't matter. I mean, it could be loaded way up over the cab. But the point is they're not going anywhere. Now we're gonna come back and show you a real big load. Okay, for this segment, we're gonna show you, first of all, we loaded the truck with empty boxes and you didn't need to see us do that. But what we did was we unhooked the netting from the rear of the truck and we left it hooked up up here and all we did was drape the net over the side of the truck here and just left it attached. So now we have all these empty boxes and we need to cover them. So we take the net and we follow it back to the back side of the truck. And all you do is just make sure you encapsulate all the boxes. That's all you have to make sure that you do. And I'm going to walk in front of you, sorry about that. And grab this side over here. And bring it over to the edge. So now, oops, there goes one of them. But the point is, is you encapsulate. And once again, we have a rope lock that we need to find. It's always going to be at the tailgate. Open it up by lifting and moving it to the 3 o'clock position. Now it's free to move. That allows you to pull this out. And you take your carabiner or your safety snap hook and attach it back to the truck, the tie down point. And you do the same in this corner here. And 
there it is. You notice the rope comes right out, and that allows you height adjustability. That's the rope. I'm attaching it once again. Now I sit here and I make sure to encapsulate the boxes, and I'll, I'll go around the truck to make sure that I did. Put this bat box back in the mix. And let me show you how this works. You just take this rope and you grab it from here and pull. And you just pull it back in here and pull down to it. Now do the same on this side. Pull it in and pull. And do anything you can to get all the slack out. And you're just going to do a quick walk around the truck and get tuck, tuck the net under. And what I did is I just closed that and I'm on the second position. It's nice and firm and it will not move. Now I'm going to coil the rope up. I'm going to put it under the Velcro. You don't have to do this, but it's best to. And just attach it to the Velcro. And now it's good to roll. I'm going to close the tailgate. And if you'll notice, I'm going to walk in front of the camera one more time. I didn't get them off. You just take this and do that. And then you're going to take the rope lock and pull on it again to make sure I got them. But even if that did do that, it's still not coming up. And I would drive down the road with this truck, with all these empty boxes, I would do 70, 75 miles an hour and not even think about it. It is totally encapsulated in this case the edge of the nets got this box the corners got that box it, it's gonna move yeah it's gonna move under anything that's not strapped but there's no way to use straps on a load like this and with open hooks I would be afraid that they'd open so that's why we use closed hooks in this case we've totally encapsulated the load and it's good to go and this net can go as high as probably up to there um, maybe even higher now. You got that rope. My suggestion is never go higher than the cap. And if you need to use straps, use straps. But use the net to catch anything that the straps can't get. Basically that is the load tamer cargo net system in action. And one thing I didn't explain is these bars on this net and the 4 inch and the heat cut. These are 700 pounds, actually 680 740 pounds to break a bar. The strongest part of the net is that intersection right there. This is called Rochelle netting and that is loomed that way. So there is no possibility of breaking that right there. This is going to break first and even if one does break, but it would take quite a bit, the net is still usable. It's just how many breaks do you have. You always have to inspect the net before use. To be honest with you, this is 100%. Uh, this style net, probably you could use it. You'll probably use it and replace the truck before you ever, ever, ever need to think about the net. It'll probably last you your lifetime.